Hardcore Iron Man Limited PvP Worlds. You guys know the rule, if you kill my Hardcore Iron Man, I will reward you with 200 mil in game. March 4th, 2018 was the date of the release to the first ever PvP but Hardcore Iron Man episode. At this time, I didn't expect to survive longer than a week, so I set myself the very easy goal. My goal is level 50 with a tier 10. Level 50 combat was smashed and completed very easily and a tier 10 emblem from Bounty Hunter is not even possible to achieve on a PvP world only account. And for this reason I decided to set a new goal for the account, the Inferno Cape. One of the longest grinds is going to be the Bandits grind and to make it as short and sweet as possible I need a Dragon Warhammer. So here I am getting 100% Shazian favor. And now we have 100% Shazian favor and the entire Shazian armor. A quick look at the drop table. Dragon Warhammer, 1 in 5000. A lot of ores, very important. A lot of seeds, very important. Serix Talisman, very important for me to get. And this will be the first ever Lizard Man Shaman kill. The first ever kill, Rune Shane Body. I'll take it. I should have brought High Arcus. Holy shit, there's two PKs here. Mystic Earth Staff, that is a 25k high alk. This is gonna mark the first trip we made ourselves. I'm not sure about the price, but around 50k. So, 150k from the first trip. <gasps> Rune Warhammer. I think that's a clue scroll item, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep that one. Plenty of Rune Warhammers. Final kill of the trip. Don't die, don't die. There we go, that, that's the final kill. Too tough. I don't want that. <gasps> oh my god. My internet had a Wi Fi reset. Oh my god, I'm so freaking lucky. Logged back in, still alive. Before I can go back to the Dragon Warhammer grind, I need to make myself some anti poison potions. But just before that, we're gonna do some barrows. This video's first barrows chest starts off with a dry, and we start with the kill count 168. <laughs> Someone found me. I am not giving up. My dream barrels list is going to be achieved by the end of the year. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <gasps> yes, we got a we got something. This is great tank body. Great item, great item, but it's not on the dream list, but it's a great item. The rune plate body was previously my best item, now it's the Torag plate body. That's an additional 40 or 50 defense bonus. I got very low on prey potion, so I did 5 more barrel chests, got nothing, and now I am back to Lizaman Shamans for the Dragon Warhammer. Oh my god, that's an upgrade. I didn't even know I could get these, but that's an upgrade. First trip down, we made a profit of for around 70k, bunch of supplies and and one upgrade loot from the second trip oh my i thought that was a dragon warhammer oh yes 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 this is the one this is what i have been waiting for now i can just simply teleport to shazian very very easily for the six herb lord got myself another 18 antipods another shaman trip done and we made 146k cash this is probably my new favorite money making method i'm getting so much money and a lot of ores and herbs and seeds and another trip and we made 80k another trip 210k made another trip 155k made we got a clue scroll can we do it we can do this clue scroll and since the first clue step is in morton we might as well do a barrels run step one completed and we have to drop this clue scroll i had no luck on the clue and i have no luck at barrels dry and another dry and another dry and another dry. And another dry. And another dry. And another dry. Another dry. Another dry. 100% and this is gonna be another dry. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the only thing that motivates me to continue doing barrels is all your pity likes, so thank you so much for all the pity likes. Another dry. <gasps> Come on. Let me predict this chest. We're gonna get um, runes, um, and that's about it. <gasps> no! I have literally no use for this item, but it's an item, and I'll take it, and it can be high alt for 60k. 
I'm out of runner, so here I am collecting herbs. 80 hit points, that makes me combat level 88. This will be enough prey potions to get myself to 200 kill count of barrels. I saw a white dot. 47 herb lore? Taking a short break from barrels and back I am at Lizardman Shamans. Loot from the first trip at Shamans, 124k. This rune warhammer is a very special rune warhammer. It marks my first ever 1 million GP made on an Iron Man. And I'm very proud of this achievement. I'm going to use this money on two different things. Number one, plenty, plenty of broad bolts. Someone found me. And number two, to get myself a Teak Eagle lectern so I can make myself Camelot teleport tablets. <laughs> 51, 52, 53, 54 construction. And that's Eyes of Glofire quest completed. 23 rune crafting, oh my god. 70 wood cutting, very nice. But the most importantly, I can now get myself the crystal saw. And this is the Teak Eagle lectern, finally built. I can now make myself Camelot teleports, a very safe teleport, so I no longer need these three items in my inventory. As you all probably can hear, I have become very very sick, which is why I have delayed this episode. But here we go, we got Camelot teleports instead of Ectophile. 118k from the first trip back to Lizard and Shamans. 168k from the second trip. No Dragon War Hammers from Shamans, so let's try Barrows. What? This is going to be kill count 199. <gasps> yes. We got an item. We got an item. Perfect. That's a good item. That's a great item. Perfect. Thank you so much. By comparing my current green dragon high chaps to my current Carol's leather skirt, you can tell that my magic defense bonus has increased by 27. Getting a teleblock on me now is much, much harder. I ended up getting myself 200 kill count at Barrows, got nothing, but my dream list of items is slowly slowly increasing which is very good. And by the time I had 200 kill count I kinda expected myself to get myself at least one tank helm. However since that doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon, I need to improvise and get myself a second best item, which I have decided to be the obsidian helm. And this obsidian helm will be very very useful for training melee since it provides a plus 3 melee strength bonus. It's been a while since I trained Slayer, but there are plenty of items to be unlocked from this skill, so I'm happy to be back. And Ku Slayer task completed. Next assignment is Blood Vaults. Nice. 62 Slayer. Ooh, look at that, a clue scroll. We can do this one. And there we go, task is completed. Let's quickly grab another task and complete this clue scroll. Next task, Greater Demons. That's uh, pretty good. Step one, completed. Step two, Completed. Step 3. Completed. This next clue step requires me to have completed Holy Grail, a quest which is needed for me to get myself piety. So I might as well complete this quest to do this clue scroll. Next, let's go south, to the southwestern part of this round oh table. My. You see, he splashed. He splashed the teleblock, but now he knows what quest I'm doing. Ah, I guess I'm not doing that quest. And that's Merlin's Crystal, completed. Step 3, completed. I am so lucky, the next step is right here. <laughs> step 4, completed. And we got a casket, our second hard clue scroll casket. But before we complete the casket, we are going to complete this quest. And that is Quest Holy Grail, completed. The second ever hard clue scroll casket, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that's so bad. 79 strength. We got a clue scroll, let's see if we can do it. No we can't. And that is task completed. And the next task, Abra Inspectors. And that's task completed. Hellhounds. 63, Slayer. During my Hellhound task, I managed to get myself four hard clue scrolls, all which I had to drop. Task completed, Fire Giants. 80 strength. And that's the Slayer task completed. 180 points received. Now I can finally unlock the ability to get myself superior monsters and the ability to get myself an imbued heart. Very important for the Infernal Cape. Next task is Ankus. Ooh, 64 Slayer. Task completed. Blood Vault. Hmm. All right, we're gonna do one more Slayer task. And this should be task completed. 
The first Slayer task we will do on the next episode of Hardcore Iron Man in PvP Worlds is going to be Hellhounds. Before we end this episode, we gotta do one last trip to Lizard and Shamus and hope we get to Dragon Warhammer. First trip gave us 93k. Ooh, 83 range. For the entire two weeks I've been here, I've only been found once. Second trip, 179k. And during the final trip to Lizard and Shamus, we didn't get a single Dragon Warhammer as well, so the grind will continue next week during the Denma Mode tournament. And since I'm not playing the Denma Mode tournament, I will be playing this hard crime and very very safely every single day. Oh yeah, my Barrow's collection log is starting to look a bit better now, so thank you Jagex for not bullying me anymore. <laughs>